Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. As promised, I'm doing a bunch of bonus readings for you all, so I will that you are enjoying your season. We are just about to wrap up Scorpio season and we're entering into Sag Sag's uh, season. So I will that you all have beautiful solar returns, that you made it epic, you turned it into motion pictures. Um, to any of you beautiful souls that may be tuning and tapping in for the first time, welcome. I go by the name of Q. I channel messages intuitively as well as clairaudiently. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that the downloads come through is either by means of the music, uh, the name of the songs, lyrics within the song, maybe the timestamp on the clock or maybe a timestamp on the video that may be playing, uh, the cards that may be showing and it all just kind of blends very beautifully. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by, let it go, let it flow, never try to force anything to be your story, know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your natal chart, see where your other placements are, and then check those readings that correspond with that um, sign. For all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love, is love is love is love. You know, I send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. I just want to say thank you all for just all of the love, the support. You already know I appreciate you all. I definitely want you to know that next year some changes will uh, be a brewing um, because I do want to dedicate a little more time and energy into building you know, this platform as well as my other um, platform, my Etsy shop, I'm going to put more energy and intention into, um, you know, providing those services and also providing uh, different different things to you all, you know, whether it be uh, jewelry, spiritual baths, cleanses, I want to bring more informative um information to the platform as well, things that will be more supportive, I should say, uh, on your journey, you know, whether it be other information pertaining to astrology, the sign, you know, the celestial energy that's going on. Um, today marks uh, that Pluto uh, going into uh, Aquarius. So this is a very powerful and transformative energy. Uh, and what that means for Scorpios is there's going to be a lot of healing, a lot of emotional healing specifically um, in these next years and this next junction of your life. And you'll absolutely be breaking free from some of those old patterns. You'll be definitely um, healing uh, from some of those familial traumas, you know, past life traumas, maybe even present life traumas, um, and just changing your belief systems and ideologies overall that have been holding you back. So this is a beautiful and powerful time of change. I feel this is also going to be very positively impactful in your home and personal life, which will lead ultimately to you having a more strong stronger sense of self and just being in your bliss, being able to enjoy more peace in your life and in your environment. So this is a time that you should be embracing. Uh, Scorpios are known as fixed signs, um, you know, because, you know, we can be a little set in our ways, but the change is inevitable and the change definitely will just encourage and promote new energy, something new to come in. Uh, when you're stuck in your old ways of thinking and doing and, and just being, it, you you cannot, you're, you're not ushering in or open to uh you know, new energy. So it's really a beautiful time of transformation. Uh, for the longest time, uh, Pluto has been known to be our ruling planet in, you know, the past 15, 20 years uh, or so, maybe even longer. Um, it's been noted that Mars is our ruling planet. So I, I always felt the energy of Pluto, that Plutonian energy. Um, and I also feel that that fiery energy from Mars as well. But Pluto has always been our ruling planet. So this is a very, very powerful, um, a very powerful uh, time of change for each of us. Give me one moment. My mouth is cotton. So these challenges, these changes, you know, we could even see it, what's going on in the world, um, just how things have kind of shifted uh, with the quick fastness. <laughs> there is 
absolutely a powerful new chapter that is unfolding. And you know, this is going to really um, promote some really deep changes. Um, and it's going to literally be for the next 40 years. I think that Pluto will be in Aquarius until 2044. The last time uh, this shift occurred was uh, back in, I believe, 16 years ago. So it shifted from uh, that Aquarius, um, you know, shifted into Aquarius, the Aquarian age from Capricorn um, after that 16, so 16 years. So it's, it's a powerful time of change and transformation. Uh, as I said, because of that Plutonian energy, it does um, inspire transformative, transformative energy. So I just really uh, encourage you all to just walk by faith and not by sight, trust the process, uh, and also utilize this time to grow, to build, to mature. It's time to get rid of the old ways of thinking, doing, and being, and just like really step into your power. Um, do the things that you really are pessimistic about, like test yourself in that way, uh, because that's going to really, um, that's going to cement success, you know, that's going to really drive home uh, that success for you. So without further ado, we're going to proceed with the read. Uh, before we do, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I also want to give you this you know, this um, disclaimer that my readings are timeless. So whenever this video popped up in your feed, that was divine timing. My readings are also, um, it's, you know, eat the fish, spit out the bone. So, you know, whatever doesn't apply, just leave it there. Don't feel the need to, to hold on to it and carry it if it isn't yours to carry. Just trust the process. Take what fits. Take what resonates. Take what feels like it's a message message and then you know whatever doesn't you just leave it there Ashe. so let's go ahead and proceed with the read and then we shall um well first let's do some house cleaning pay homage to the ancestors the angels our guides our spirit team and then we shall proceed with the read Ashe. i'm just getting my playlist together have it on shuffle and ready to roll Ashe. so let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the read Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun. To bliss me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beautiful souls. It is currently, what time is it? It is currently 512 on the clock, which reduces to the number 8. And it just turned to 513. So 512 is 8, 513 is 9. So we'll expound on that 8. And we currently have Wu Tang uh, lesson learned. And so that 8 is associated with the strength card. And so I feel like you built your autonomy and your capacity from your experiences. And so you've learned some very valuable lessons, which means that you are now in some sort of harmonic balance. You feel very much strong enough to stand in your power. You're feeling braver. You're feeling more courageous. But more importantly, you feel wiser from whatever the lessons were that you had to learn. This is Wu-Tang. And then we also have Red Man and Inspected Deck. So Red Man is from Jersey. Some of you all could be from Jersey. Some of you all could be from Staten Island. Some of you all could be from Brooklyn. Um, I feel that there's definitely been some sort of leveling up or graduating to the next level. Um, and you've learned some lessons, which means that there is this energy of maturation and growth that you could be in. 
We also have with the number nine, the nine is the hermit. So I feel like you took the necessary time to grow. You took the necessary time even to heal or to process uh, whatever it was that you were learning. So in your your journey, you know, there may have been a lot of um, upsets, disappointments, uh, but you've become stronger through those experiences. And so that just shows that you know, you are someone who's wiser, more balanced, and you're more in control of your subconscious thoughts because you may have had to face, you know, whatever demons, you may have had to face certain situations uh, that you could have previously been avoiding. So this is just showing that there's been a graduation of sorts, maturation. So this is a beautiful energy. And with that nine, the hermit, you took the necessary time. I'm hearing a siren. So I do want you to be very mindful that you could have, um, you know, some energy that could be popping up because the nine is giving me like I, I initially saw the nine of wands in my mind's eye where you could be very defensive. Um, and that is because of the lessons you've had to learn from certain individuals or certain situations that may not have been very positive. So you're going to be defensive. 1111, I just saw. So maybe you were learning some karmic lessons from perhaps some sort of uh, love partnership or someone you could have been married to or in some sort of domestic connection. Someone you could have resided in the same home, lived with someone, and they taught you some valuable lessons about loving thyself. Because the 1111 reduces to four. And the four deals with the heart chakra that also deals with the divine masculine. So if you're a feminine energy, you could have been dealing with a masculine who taught you some lessons. You've learned valuable lessons through that journey or through that experience. For masculine, you could have learned some valuable lessons from dealing with someone that you may have been in some sort of domestic partnership with as well. So I do feel like with Inspect the Deck, a lot of you, uh, and naturally being Scorpios, you're very investigative. So you could have learned something through just putting on your little inspector gadget hat on and saying look and your little you know your little uh what do you call that that little um microscope not microscope um whatever that little uh, what is that mat what is that anyway i digress you know what i'm talking about he used to carry that little uh, what is that? A magnifying glass. Thank you, spirit. Um, so you all did some investigative work. You 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 discovered something, you know, and through your discovery, it's like you learned the lesson. Maybe you didn't pay attention to some red flags. Maybe you did. Either way, I feel the sun, you know, is coming up. I feel, you know, there's some either truths that have been revealed, things that were hidden, things that you may not have known. Uh, but now it's like you're in your power because the eight that we first started with and that nine, that reduces to 17 and 17 is the star. So maybe you were very hopeful and optimistic on your journey. Maybe you've sent up prayers, petitions, affirmations, daily mantras that you could have been speaking out into the ethers. And that's what kind of helps cement you um, and keep you rooted, you know, where you weren't just allowing your fears to take control or take over. You really learned those valuable lessons about trust Trusting your own, um, you know, your own autonomy, like trusting your own uh, intuition and, and, and really, um, you know, being more in control of your own subconscious thoughts or being more discerning in certain situations. Uh, that eight is also showing me that you walked away. You could have walked away from a situation because you learned that it was not beneficial. It wasn't helpful. It wasn't um, a positive situation. Maybe there was no uh, cohesiveness or you weren't on the same page as another person. So you may have walked away from that situation because I'm seeing like the eight of cups. And that nine of wands is now you're standing your ground. You're not allowing anyone to, you know, play with, your, play with you or play with your emotions or even to toy with you uh, because those situations could have been very, very disturbing, but also disappointing. Uh, so you established those boundaries, you put up those walls, but you still got fight in you. So I feel like this could escalate uh, to an argument if you do entangle with someone. But I also feel because you stand in your ground, because you have taken your power back in a situation, now there's going to be wish fulfillments and blessings that come through because that 17 is the star card. We also have Kenny Lattimore. Uh, Kenny Lattimore, stay on your mind. 
someone's name could be Kenny or Lattimore, but someone stays on your mind or maybe you're on someone else's mind. But either way, I feel like someone is constantly thinking of another person. Maybe someone is constantly thinking about things that may have occurred in a relationship that may have metastamized before you get to six, 17, you have 16, which is the tower. So there definitely was uh, what I feel is a domestic partnership that could have resulted in the demise of a relationship, the breakup, uh, maybe even a dis uh, divorce, uh, separation. Uh, but someone is constantly thinking of another person. Someone is constantly, um, you know, renting space in another person's mind. Uh, again, someone's name could be Kenny or Lattimore. Uh, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say. I'm also getting another download with that number eight because as I said, um, the eight and the nine reduces to 17. I feel strongly that there is some sort of answer to a prayer or there's something, you know, some sort of movement forward. Like you're, you're moving in a new direction. As I just expounded earlier before we touched the cards and saw the time that I was just feeling like, you know, especially with Pluto and Aquarius effective today, that that is just ushering in a very transformative energy and it's really going to be a powerful change but this change is going to happen so um, suddenly abruptly quickly I feel like even someone could be coming in um, you know to your life with some good news maybe you'll be receiving some sort of good news or you'll be receiving some sort of correspondence that's going to make you feel really excited so that's a beautiful energy also so let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just, oh, shucky ducky now. <laughs> I love when it's just like synchronicities. That's so dope. So look what we're starting off with. Eight, manifestation. So just as I said, I was feeling like a wish fulfillment. And it's because this is something you've manifested. So you've been working with, you know, that, that divine energy. You've been tapping into your divinity, into your like alchemical force utilizing the elements around you a water fire earth air ether and you're manifesting something maybe during this uh beaver uh super full moon you know on the 15th that super full moon you could have been utilizing uh that full moon energy to manifest something and i was feeling with that eight of cups i was just seeing in my mind's eye that something was coming in suddenly abruptly unexpectedly and that's just confirming that and this is something you have been working on something that you have been setting the intention on so whatever you may have learned from you know previous disappointments past heartaches or certain individuals you were in relationships with love ships with friendships with work dynamics with with it's like it was designed to teach you so that's why we had lesson learned because that was like a karmic lesson that had to be learned eight is the number of karma we are in in eight universal years so maybe because we're in this eight universal year this was the year that whatever karmic debts um, that needed to be paid off you may have paid those off I just saw eight eight seventeen forty four which is eight eight that's sixteen so that's why the tower fell that's why because there were many things that could have been hidden from you, many things that you were not privy to or aware of, and that's why the tower had to fall. So spirit literally stepped in and struck the tower so that you can so that whatever was destroyed, you can now rebuild, and you can rebuild it on a more solid foundation. You can rebuild it with more of that intention um, that you put into it. So you could have had good intentions, but if you're with a partner or with someone that doesn't, then that is not. Um, that is not a compatible uh, connection. So I feel like there was a karmic situation that had to complete in order for this new cycle to usher in. And so now whatever you've been working towards, whatever you've been building uh, and working on, it's like now it's manifesting in real time. We also have a Tribe Core Quest uh, scenario. So whatever the scenarios were for you, I feel like you learned from those um, lessons. I also feel like you've been on a quest to you know becoming your most authentic version of yourself and in your authenticity that is why the the chains are being broken the cords the karmic cords are being broken even yokes if you had certain yokes um and spells put on you
you. Uh, those cords, those things are being broken because this is an eight universal year and spirit is paying attention to the seeds that you've sowed. So if you've been sowing seeds in good faith, then now you have those opportunities to receive the blessings and to receive the wish fulfillments and receive all the answers to your prayers when you were in that star energy of connecting to celestial energy, of remaining hopeful and optimistic and seeing yourself and visualizing yourself where you want it to be or focusing on the solutions and not on the problems. That's why you're now a super uh, manifester. You're like a master manifester rather. You're someone who has reached a level of self-mastery even. You have, you know, built some sort of uh, capacity to remain grounded, to remain very centered. Uh, and this is really making you a more powerful force to be reckoned with. So this is a beautiful energy, beloved. On the split, we have wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. Um, I said wish fulfillment. We have moderation. So this is showing those are the changes that you had to make because that 14 moderation is just saying these are the changes you had to make within yourself. And it could have taken a long time because that 14 deals with the um, um, temperance card. So that's about, you know, things taking time, things happening even more importantly in divine timing. So even if you have a schedule or you have plans, they always say, if you want to make God laugh, you tell them your plans. Spirit was like, nah, we need to work on this. We need to work on you building up and mustering up your strength, courage, and wise dome to, you know, confront whatever demons you need to confront, to stand in your power, stand perpendicular in your square. And that's exactly what you did. You met the challenge and you also matured and grew because that 14 now reduces to five and the five deals with the Hierophant. So this is a studious energy. This is you learning, um, you know, tapping into that tutelage. This is seeking wise counsel, sitting at the feet of the elders, seeking some sort of mentorship or menteeship, having some sort of you know, maternal or paternal figure stepping in and just giving you advice. Maybe this is even a little bit of chastisement every now and then. Maybe this is you praying and speaking to your angels, your ancestors. But whatever this is, it took time for you to get in a place where now it's like you're ready to transition or step into your actual power. The five and the eight reduces to 13 and 13 is transformation. So you've had that startling metamorphosis. And I do feel like that, those transformative energies I was speaking to earlier in the beginning of the reading is just confirming this Plutonian um, energy going into Aquarius. So again, transformation, changes, shifts, pivots, even in your life or even in your direction. Um, it's like you're now going to start moving um, according to how you feel, um, you know, how you feel you want to do things it's like that's what's going to be a priority you're no longer in that energy of trying to appease and please people or even trying to like uphold and maintain certain family dynamics if you don't feel that those connections are um are sacred or strong uh it's like you're now willing to start stepping into your own power we have um rock marciano someone could be from jersey this is called covid cough so some of you could have recently um had a bout with covid or maybe in the past you've had a bout with covid and maybe you were dealing with that on a you know all alone or maybe you were dealing with that and you know you really struggled maybe it really um attacked your immune system your respiratory system and it was really a struggle but now you're getting stronger because that eight is the strength card so maybe you're getting your strength back maybe you're getting your taste back maybe you're getting your sense of smell back your senses back period and you feel stronger um someone's name could be rock with rock i do feel like you know you've been in um a space of really just healing and nurturing yourself because when i think of rock i just think like you know you know that that saying, that phrase of, you know, um, you, you've been hiding under a rock, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm, I'm just getting a sense of like, of that. But I also feel like with, you know, certain rocks, I'm seeing like a boulder in my mind's eye, not a rock. But when I see like a boulder, that's something you can't move. So I do feel like maybe some of you all were kind of like, in, in this place of seclusion uh, whilst you were working on the self. Um, I'm, I'm just getting a sense of, of like, you all kind of, you know, not really 
communicating with people or not, you know, maybe you are still wearing a mask. Cause when I get, when I hear COVID, I think I see masks, I see people in isolation. So maybe with the mask, that's just really emphasizing not communicating, uh, because, you know, maybe you weren't communicating with people. Maybe there was no communication with others because when you have a mask on, it's very hard, um, you know, to communicate or for others to hear what you're communicating. So the, I just get a sense of that, like someone feeling muzzled or like quiet or like hushed or just a sense of just like silenced even maybe you were sitting in silence maybe you were sitting in a place like I said where there was you were internalizing things um and now there is going to be you know perhaps this happy ending look at that and I told you I saw wish fulfillment so this happy ending is here as I'm speaking of you now coming out of seclusion and the sun is shining so you've learned a lot in your 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 time away um you took the necessary time I feel because uh, I feel it was more of a choice. It wasn't like you were forced in that to say, I feel like you really took, uh, you know, the time to work on the self, to heal, to not be around people. You didn't want too many opinions. You didn't want all of that, <clears throat> all that feedback, unsolicited advice. It's like you really took the time to work on yourself. And maybe some of you all, like I said, you know, you may have suffered from uh, COVID and you may be getting stronger now. I definitely see happiness in your future. This card has come out a couple of times in y'all reading over the past few readings I've done this happy card. So spirit is just emphasizing that you will be happy. And this 93 is 12. So 12 is really, again, just reemphasizing um, that time away from others because that's the hangman in traditional tarot. So when you are in a hangman status, you're in a sacrificial position to be forced to look at things from a different vantage point. And so now there is this, you know, optimism because maybe there was a lot of pessimism in the past. Um, pessimistic um feelings and emotions uh maybe because you were going through karmic lessons and things seemed to be so um so dark or so heavy all the time it was very hard for you to see you know uh, that silver lining but now it's like times are happier things are happening um more positively in your life and I feel like this also because you've come into the truth especially after you've transformed you you see the truth you're no longer um you know, suffering from disillusionment or or having some sort of mental conflict or fog. Uh, maybe there were people that were lying to you, gaslighting, uh, you know, maybe even just, you know, mind ucking. And now you see the light, you see the truth. Um, so I do see that energy here. What we have playing right now is we have soul for real. So with soul for real, um, and, and then this is called, what is this called? Sorry, y'all. It's called every little thing. Um, so I do feel like, you know, that with this energy, I feel spirit has been watching every little thing. Cause like I said, I feel not only because this is an eight universal year, but the, the seeds that you've sowed in good faith, you're going to reap those benefits. You're going to reap the benefits of that good work. Um, because spirit has been watching every little thing that you do. You may also have someone that is also looking at you from a different perspective because now they see you as like this, this regal, royal, divine feminine or divine masculine energy, um, that makes this person or whomever is, um, watching from a distance because the hangman would just kind of, you know, it, it just means that someone's kind of being forced to see things from a different lens. And I feel like maybe someone is watching every little thing you do and maybe they're starting to see, um, you know, that you are this empress or you're a divine feminine or masculine or that you're someone that brings a lot of joy and happiness, uh, positivity and peace in their life. Um, with soul for real, maybe this is someone that could be like a soul mate, a kindred spirit, a spiritual partner, some sacred uh, connection. So we're going to um, just shuffle up these cards, make sure we get a good reading today, beloved. It's a beautiful reading today. So let's tap in. What's coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of the overall energy for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Get a message. And I just saw that 63 parenting. So as I was picking up earlier, like a domestic partnership or maybe someone that you've planted seeds and roots with. And then we got the 48. Maybe someone definitely wants to come back, work together, collaborate, build an alliance, a partnership. This is someone that wants to, you know, kind of have that give and take even uh, someone 
could also some of you all could also have someone like trying to plan and prepare strategize that come towards you that could be that same person just contemplating because this still reduces to 12 uh so whoever this person is that's someone that is like really being forced by spirit to look at things to look at you even in a whole new light uh this person is obviously watching every little thing that you do if you have social media platforms they could be like kind of you know following you they have a ghost account or some sort of account where they could still tune in tap in i also see that this person could be seeing that you have been kind of building your own autonomy building up your business building your wealth of knowledge you have been working on something and whatever you've been working on you're mastering that craft you're sharpening your sword there's also you know fruits that you're bearing from whatever this is so they've seen that you've been able to uh, perhaps generate some sort of extra stream of income um, but there is like fruits that have been bared from the hard work and effort that you've put out there uh, with soul for real these are all brothers so there are four masculines maybe some of you all have four brothers um, maybe some of you all there is a brother that is of significance um, you know, maybe this is someone that you may share a lot of your personal information with. Maybe this is someone that you are very tight with because you share every little thing that you do with this person. Someone that you know you can trust. So let's tap into and see what's going on. With the four brothers, I just feel like some of you all may have four brothers. Or someone that you could have been dealing with could have been, um, could have had four brothers. So let's tap into and I'm hearing two more. And then we're going to cut the deck and proceed. Thank you, spirit. And right now we have like a ship. And this is um, by Pastor T. L. Barrett. And this is a song that was used in a Kanye West documentary. So with Like a Ship, I get a sense that there's distance. Because when you think of a ship, you know, the ship travels. Um, and on, I'm, I'm hearing the Three of Wands card. So when you think of the Three of Wands, that person standing like at the, you know, at the top of the mountain. And you could see the ship's docking. So I feel like there could be something that you... Um, you know, something is materializing or manifesting um, because that three of wands just means like ready, set, go. Maybe someone's about to take action. This is someone that there could be distance between you and this person or this there's someone that may feel a sense of distance because you may not have spoken to this person in a while. So the bottom of the deck, we get the nine completion. So this is the overall energy. As I said, transformative energy. So change is necessary. Nine is the highest number of change. Nine also speaks to birthing new things, you know, new ways of thinking, uh, birthing new ideas, birthing new styles. Um, nine is also giving me like, you know, that nine of wands energy that I was picking up earlier, uh, where, you know, whatever guards you may have had up, it's like this next cycle, you're not going to be, you know, you're, there's no need to be as guarded because I feel like you are getting rid of or you're moving away from I should say especially with ship you could be moving away from all that negativity I'm seeing in my mind's eye like that six of swords where you could be you know kind of building a safe space a safe haven maybe you're getting more um you're, you're, you're going to surround yourself with your soul tribe, um, with your village, people that you could trust and not around people that you always have to keep one eye open or keep your head on a swivel. So with the completion, I just feel like wrapping up a cycle, a karmic cycle is completed. So that's the lessons that you've learned. That's why this cycle is completing because whatever lessons you are destined to learn um you've learned those and now it's like you have spiritual strength or spiritual polish uh, power or knowledge of self um which is you know that last step first you got to love yourself in order to heal thyself and then you know thyself so you have knowledge of self now and that nine completion is just a testament to that because what i'm seeing now is like the hermit and the hermit is a wizard knows the answers he seeks or, um, or he or she seeks are found within so that same energy i was getting where someone was isolated and and kind of secluded so that they could work on the self this is confirming that and whatever internal work that you've done on the self you're starting to see those celestial changes um which impacts as above so below it the external 
It always impacts the internal and vice versa. So whatever changes you're making internally, you're going to see that manifest in your physical reality. What's on the bottom of the deck when we pull what's who or what you're attracting to you, we have a love and individuality. I feel like this is your just due. I feel like you had to learn to stand erect, stand alone, be independent, separate and sever those codependent connections, toxic connections to learn and discover what it means to stand on your own two feet and to um, stand in your power and now you're doing so and you're more balanced you're more harmonized uh, b because of that I also feel with that 11 not only is that justice, but that's also saying that things will now start working out in your favor. I feel there's more balance, but I also feel you're going to make the right decisions because the nine and the 11, which breaks down to two, is just 11 again. So I do feel like now you will get your just due because now you're going to have the truth, which is what that justice card is about. It's about seeing the truth, learning the truth, and now standing and walking in your truth. And now you're going to choose the right direction that's going to be uh, more authentic or more um um more of it's going to be more authentic or more genuine to your journey or to this this journey that you're on and so with this 11 i also see ultimately what you're attracting to you is someone that will be made in your likeness because I also associate this 11. I'm seeing like the two of cups where two people have taken the time to heal thyself and now they have something to offer the other person because they've worked on themselves. And there is that sense of, you know, self-love, self-worth, self-value. I also get a strong sense of there being some sort of decision that is going to lead to success. And with like a ship, I see you moving um, to you know greater pastures. I see you moving forward, upwards and onward. And whoever you're attracting to you, maybe this is going to encourage or spark some sort of motivation for them to take action. But someone is absolutely seeing you as uh, you know someone that they have that equal exchange of give and take or chemistry or synergy or energy that they love. There's a good, beautiful banter between the two of you. I also see someone with requests. This song is called Request. So someone may request your 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 friendship um, on your social media platform. You may receive some sort of request from someone, and this will be this person just taking that that step in the right direction to make a connection. Um, you are single at this time, but I don't feel like you're going to be single much longer because that 11 could also include matrimony, marriage, um, and partnership. You know, having a partner. So let's tap in. So who? Or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Thank you, Spirit. Finish my shuffle. You see how that card is flipped over? That's your card. And it's the 14 again. So this person is taking their time because they want to get it right. But there's also divine timing that's in um, order right now. Like that's of essence is divine timing. Because this person knows that they got to make the change. And I'm hearing that Michael song, Michael Jackson song. Make that change. Man in the mirror. So this is someone looking at themselves and making the necessary changes. This is someone also, you know, owning a ish. They're maturing because that 14 breaks down to five. So that's about maturation and growth. This is someone that could be getting advice from, you know, loved ones or people that they trust, trusted adults. But this is someone absolutely healing and growing. The green card shows that there's a lot of healing taking place. And there's healing because they are um, working in that root chakra which deals with you know your family trauma security stability just your 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 past life um you know traumas that's that's baggage so this is someone who's really taken the necessary steps to heal things from their past maybe this is someone getting like akashic readings and learning you know whatever soul ties or cords that have them tripped up and they're eventually going to heal because they're going to sever those ties this is also someone whose heart chakra is opening up and maybe this will build uh, some sort of confidence for them to request your friendship or reach out because I get a strong sense that whoever this is they have no point of contact no phone calls no emails for you and so maybe this person just has um, social media you know information and that's probably how they've been watching because I do feel like whoever this is is someone that kind of tunes in and watches you um, and we have um, who is this we have uh, the cranberries 
again and this is called ode to my family so i do feel again uh because i was picking up with that root chakra that someone was healing like uh past life wounds traumas and so this ode to my family how they feel about you maybe this person sees you as someone that is their family this is this is someone i feel you may have um history with uh you planted seeds and roots this could be someone you could have been in a relationship with or someone you could have worked together with someone you know um you have a history with this person so you know this person for a long period of time um with cranberries i'm getting someone may love cranberries or someone you know may uh love cranberry juice they might drink that like you drink water like this may be someone and, and that's just for a specific person um, we got 66 healing. So how they feel about you. This is them reflecting and looking at you uh, from a different perspective and vantage point because the 12 deals with the hangman. But they're also watching um, you heal, which has inspired or encouraged them to start healing because the six and the six deals with the first eye. So maybe this is someone that communicates with you telepathically or intuitively. You both could be in the same energy because whenever I see um, double numbers, I always feel like that's you matching the person. Um you and that person you're attracting to you matching um, energies and with ode to my family I feel this person sees you as a wife or as a hubby you know because that 12 breaks down to 3 uh, they're definitely heartbroken because I'm seeing the 3 of swords but I also feel like it's heartbreaking because now they're starting to see you in your divine light. This card is peeking up and I'm curious to see what that is and look at that look at that that's that's spiritual partnership and we got old to my family. Something told me to pull that up because it was just peeking out. And so this is what's happening. So this person sees you as family. They can see them building that home, that hearth, that happily ever after, that happy spouse, happy house vibes. Like this is that person that's seeing you in a whole new light, seeing you as an empress, regal, royal, maternal, a leader, a boss, uh, just beautiful, attractive, you know, alluring. And this is because they feel that you are the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. Um, even if this is masculine energy, don't pay attention to the gender. Just pay attention to the energy. But this is someone now that's having that aha moment. You know, this epiphanous moment now, seeing you in a whole new light. And it took for spirit to kind of put them in that, you know, um, energy of sacrificial um you know time off or pause for them to see things as they are uh and this is allowing for that healing energy to come through so that's powerful so let's tap in i'm also getting a sense of teaching and learning like they're learning because they're watching you and so we have 32 music and the song that's still playing is the cranberries ode um to my family so that's powerful so this is definitely someone um that wishes to communicate because we have another five thank you daughter my daughter is amazing these last couple of readings you just know that this girl's amazing she made me some tuna fish sandwiches tuna melts oh my goodness thank you daughter <laughs> So, yeah, so this person definitely desires to communicate. Maybe this is someone that listens to music and it makes them think of you. Maybe this is someone that also is clairaudient. Maybe you all are clairaudient. And there's divine messages, downloads that come through. With this 85, yep, they see you as a wish fulfillment. They're ideal person. Um, but oh, to my family, maybe this is someone, like I said, that you could be separated from, divorced from. Uh, maybe this is someone that you have um, left behind. And this person feels like you're their family. And maybe they wish to restore this connection we got five five which is ten plus this nine is one um so that's ten again all of this reduces to one this person is very sexually attracted to you they also want to take action this is also them wanting a new beginning uh i'm hearing they want to save their family their family uh they want their family back um with this um wish fulfillment here they see you as a wish fulfillment that 85 they this transformation that you've just experienced or that you're going through currently uh um, is really making them uh, look at you in a whole new light. You know, this is something that they may not have been able to see before, but with all the changes that you've made, it's now allowing them to see you in your true light. And with this 85, we're about to pull the card for what's hidden. This is someone that's ready to come after you or go after you, maybe even communicate because of 32, that deals with the throat chakra. Um, and I just saw 4224, which is a mirror. So that 4224, that reduces the 6-6. Six, six. Remember the 6-6 six, six we just saw was healing. So this is someone who's still healing, but they're also going through some sort of major transformation as well. Um, with Fabulous and Neo, this is Make Me Better. 
So this person definitely what's hidden is they feel that you make them better. They feel you're the ideal. Like, you know, 13 breaks down to four. So this could be a divine masculine that, you know, is feeling better because they've learned some lessons. Or this could be, you know, a divine masculine that has a feminine who is, you know, you know, who they may feel makes them better, who they may feel they can be their authentic self around that individual. This person encourages them, inspires them. I just said, I feel like this person, you may be, um, this, there may be like that teacher learner where you could be teaching this person, um, uh, because they're watching you. So, you know, that teaching and learning card also reduces to 12 because it's 57 in this deck. So I was getting a sense of that same person that's kind of watching and observing and forced to look at things from a different perspective is learning something and they're learning that you're a wish fulfillment a blessing you're the one that got away perhaps i just saw 4334 another mirror that's 77 in this card that's the spirituality card so that is definitely saying that they could be communicating with you telepathically or intuitively or dreaming of you having lucid dreams or maybe this is someone who is definitely um like you have a very sacred or spiritual bond or connection with. I do feel like they're trying to uh, figure out a way to come towards you, some sort of strategy. Um, they're also very much aware that they need to make some changes or, you know, they're hoping that a conversation will change perhaps the direction of the relationship or change the way you may see them or perceive them. But with make me better, they know that you make them better. Maybe you are someone who is just, you speak their love language, you're very empathic, you're very compassionate, you don't judge. Um, even through all all of you know the transitions and changes and ebbs and flows of the relationship you still don't judge them you know you have showed compassion you haven't um you know held on to resentment and animosity and, and, and any type of angst which has only made you more attractive because this person is fully aware uh because they've been forced you know in that sacrificial position to reflect on some of the things they've done in their past and this is why there's um you know this epiphanous moment where they're starting to see uh perhaps the errors in their ways or just perceive you in your truth so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy that was very fast so what's hidden in the energy look at that the 57 teaching and learning i just mentioned that card so we're about to this is going to be on the bottom of the deck when we pull what the outcome is so this person i feel will take action because i'm getting like that three of wands that i was seeing earlier especially with like a ship i feel like they're finally going to take action or they're planning preparing strategizing how to move in a certain direction maybe they're getting prepared to come towards you uh because they are absolutely learning from you especially with make me better the divine feminine the empress she is a very beautiful and attractive energy she's very wise nurturing she's loving she's caring she's kind she's a leader she's powerful so that is an energy that you will learn from she will make anyone better that comes in her presence as will the emperor so that that is an energy they rule empires together that's a suit so that energy is a very powerful energy that's the energy that all queens aspire to be and all kings aspire to be that emperor so this is someone that absolutely knows that you are regal royal and also rare your rarity is what i just heard in my mind's eye uh, someone could be from brooklyn as well someone can be from georgia but they definitely feel like you may have like a fabulous life or you may just things may may be very um positive in your life as well or things could get better if they're with you we have 22 intuition for what's hidden so spirit is reminding you to trust your intuition i also feel if there is a divine masculine that's kind of pondering or contemplating taking action i feel like they're going to trust their gumption or their intuition i also feel with the double twos that's the high priest high priestess energy so there could be some unforeseen or some things that could be hidden behind the scene this is also saying that you all have divine knowledge and wise dome and you have that ability to tap into your intuition or use discernment. So if there is someone coming towards you or if there is someone that is, dis, you know, desiring, um, you know, to offer love because the 22 breaks down to four. That's the heart chakra. Someone's heart could be opening up. They're trusting this process or they're trusting how they're feeling. And so spirit is also reminding you to trust your intuition to ensure that you are making the right decisions. I was picking up earlier that there was a divine masculine that was, you know, making a decision decision or a choice or having to make a decision um, even if it's not a divine masculine someone that you were dealing with is having to make some sort of decision or choose wisely and I feel like you are already in your power where you are not going to accept anything less than what you know you deserve um, we have a uh, phase O riding high and that's because you are riding high you know you are 
definitely having a lot of positive things happen in your life you're moving upward and onwards so you're not allowing anyone to come in and destroy what you've been building so that is the reason why uh, spirit is reminding you to trust your intuition especially if people from the past pop up um, also all of these cards reduce to let's see we got one and then we have this 20 so it's five so there is going to be a conversation and I feel like spirit is telling you to trust your intuition um, if something doesn't sit fight sit right or feel right in your spirit just be off of it you don't owe anyone explanations we also have the word she and then we have eyes um if you look at the record it says she so this is definitely saying um you know that someone is watching a feminine energy or a feminine energy could be watching and then we have uh, the eyes um so someone could be watching a divine feminine is what i'm getting someone is definitely tuning and tapping in someone is definitely um seeing that you are having some sort of success or things are really, really um, very balanced and you seem very centered even, very grounded. And we have phase O, you know, so maybe this person sees that you're not even phased perhaps by the separation or phased by um, the breakup. Maybe that's how they're perceiving it. But there, you definitely got some eyes watching. And with that 57 um, teaching and learning, you have taught this person valuable lessons. As I said, you will teach others and they will teach you. People come together for that reason solely. You know, we all bump into people that are not accidents. Um, you know, it's a, it's not accidental. It's because they have something, uh, some knowledge to impart uh, to you and you have to do the same for them. Um, so, yeah, so that teaching and learning, you definitely learn valuable lessons. We opened up the reading with lesson learned. So that's confirmation. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. Finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have physical activity. So someone's about to take action. They're about to bust a dope move. Um, this is also Spirit's way of saying, like, the transformations that you've made. They see that you've been very proactive. Like, you wasn't just sitting around, sitting on your hands, waiting for stuff to plop in your lap, knock on your door. It was like you did the necessary work to receive the blessings, to have some sort of major transformation and to emerge um, um, as your divine self, your powerful self. So this is a beautiful energy. And we have eight manifestation pop back out. Remember when we first touched the deck, this was the card on the bottom of the deck. That's the reason why your blessings and your wish fulfillments are coming true. And it's because you've taken this journey. You've taken this journey and you didn't fret. You wasn't afraid. Teaching and learning is here. As I said, I said teaching and learning. Physical activity is here. So there's no accident. So I do feel whoever is watching you, you are the teacher and the student at the same time. So as you were learning your lessons, as you were going on this journey uh, to, you know, reaching that level of self-mastery, um, you have also been teaching someone else because that came out for a reason. But the physical activity just shows your dedication and your ambition and just how hard you worked. Um, and so now you're going to have some stability because that transformation is going to usher in new energy as I I said today, Pluto uh, is in Aquarius, and that's a transformative energy. It is currently 555, and that's five three times. So that's definitely also um, just confirming uh, the changes and the shifts and just how much you have matured on um, this journey. This is a beautiful energy, beloveds. And underneath that, we have patience and we have rebirth yet again and so this patience good things take time to create i feel spirit also wants you to sit with your thoughts contemplate before taking action meditate to get it straight uh because there is something that you may need to ponder for quite some time before you move in any particular direction and i also feel it has a lot to do um you know with you know spirit you know, working with you through this time of transformation or working with you um, through some sort of uh, some sort of new cycle. Because I just get a sense of like a new cycle coming in. And right now we have, um, who is this? Uh, R. Kelly. And this is called, um, uh, it, oh, this is like number one hits. It says number one hits. Oh, a love letter. Maybe this, oh, number one hit, sorry. 
I thought it was like a playlist, but it says number one hit. So yeah, number one, I feel like you're the number one, like you are your own um, priority right now. Like you're putting yourself first. You're prioritizing you and your needs. Maybe in the past, you didn't do that because we did see the um, individuality card, which means that you were in codependence, uh, codependent relationships. So you had to learn to stand perpendicular in your square, or you had to learn to prioritize you and put you first. So right now, you're number one priority. You are your own priority, I should say. Someone's name could be R or Kelly. Someone could also be from Chi Town. All right. So the 67 transformations that breaks down to 13. So let's clarify these messages. We're going to pull some messages from my black and gold deck. So that 555, five, five, like I said, that breaks down to 15. So you could have someone who could be a little obsessed or a little possessive. Um, maybe you were dealing with a dark energy. Maybe someone was dealing with addictions, afflictions, struggling with some sort of... Um, they were struggling with something, you know, dealing with their shadow side. Maybe they were working through the shadow side. There goes the justice I was speaking of earlier. So you will get your just due. I do feel like things are working out in your favor. I do feel like spirit is, you know, definitely, um, you know, just paying karma to someone who may not. Um, it, it may be a sense of like karmic debts, like I said, being paid off. But I do feel like. The truth is coming to light or someone is finally seeing the truth or maybe someone is receiving uh, karma, you know, but there, there is justice being served nonetheless. And then we got the four swords underneath that. So that's the recovery period. This is someone in deep reflection also, you know, and whoever that was, I was picking up earlier that was just like kind of, you know, working within and, and kind of looking at things from a different perspective. That could be the, the position that they could be in because spirit forced that, you know, like do a little more self-reflection, do a little more introspection um, before taking action. And, the, and in that period, they were able to um, discover, you know, some of the mistakes that they have made. And that ultimately you're their number one. Someone could have been juggling in the past. That led to heartache because you can see the three of swords. This person is reflecting on, you know, those three swords that were piercing someone else's heart. And I feel like this sword right here is going to be the sword of truth, which is what the justice, Lady Justice is holding. So they will see the truth eventually or maybe they've already... Um, They've already seen the truth, and that's where uh, the conversation will take place or communication will take place. Uh, but I do feel like if you are manifesting something, or if you've been utilizing that beaver full moon that just passed, that super moon, the last super moon of this year, um, it's manifesting. I feel like it's manifesting quickly, unexpectedly, like you're going to receive a quick turnaround. So that's powerful. Let's tap in on the split. We got the three of pentacles and justice. So your hard work is paying off. You're building new alliances, collaborating with other like minds. And this is definitely assuring some sort of uh, victory. You know, you're going to have a return on those investments. I see the 10 of pentacles now. So this could also be speaking to like marriage um, or building some sort of um, partnerships. Uh, I do see home, hearth, wills, legacy, family. This is a beautiful energy. And with number one, someone could definitely feel like you're the one. You're the one that got away. Or you're the one they want to be with forever, ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever. So this is that person that may that may really um, feel that sense of like, yeah, that my Scorpio is the one that got away. You know, they, they could really be struggling with that. Um, let me see here. What, what's going on with my playlist? Oh, my goodness. This is annoying. All right. There we go. I'm like, yo, can we? Oh, and now it's playing a meditation video. Let me skip to the next song. <laughs> All right. What is happening? Uh, all right. There we go. We got Aerie Lennox and it says Chicago boy. So some of you may definitely be from Chicago, shot town, because we just had uh, R. Kelly, who's from Chicago. Um, uh, someone's name could be Aerie or Lennox, first, middle or last. Someone could be from the the um, UK because I'm hearing. Um, what is her name? The Eurythmics. Someone's name is Lennox, something Lennox. Um, and I just heard, here comes the rain again, burning on my head. Like, so th that someone could be from the UK or Britain, London, um, but somewhere, f somewhere um, from the UK is what I'm gathering. And um, yeah, so with Ari Lennox, Chicago boy, uh, someone could also be from Chi-Town. Um, 
So that's also um, a possibility as well. But with the Three of Pentacles, whatever you're working on or mastering, it will you know, bring some sort of success. I also feel like with that completion, because we're about to pull the card for the overall energy, I feel like maybe you have already mastered your style and then you're going to move forward with putting your uh, products out there, jump-starting your business. Um, but this is, this is confirming that there's going to be, uh, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to receive some, some, um, you know, you're going to receive some, some, uh, windfalls perhaps maybe you know the seeds you've sowed are going to definitely um generate some uh some abundance some prosperity but you're definitely going to have some success nonetheless so divine spirit of peace power and protection let's clarify these messages let me get a message of peace power and protection from my beloved scorpio as soon as i said that there goes the nine of pentacles we also got that star energy i was picking up earlier so this is showing your hard work paying off like you did that <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like you did that. You standing here in all your 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 divine feminine, divine masculine energy. You receiving good news. You know what I'm saying? And this is from you putting forth that energy, tapping into that alchemical force of water, fire, earth, air, ether. You're bringing balance and just restoring. You know your your situation. You know this is you even like you know turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Fearless. You know, that's a beautiful energy. Like you have, um, you know, spoke whatever it is you desired out into the ethers. And whatever it is that you've experienced, whatever it is that you've endured, uh, you have not allowed that to hold you back. You have not allowed that to to hinder you, to block you. If anything, it's been a motivating and a driving force. You've been even more inspired to to prove people wrong or to prove yourself right even. But you are, you know, on your divine life, you know, path. You're like living your truth right now. And this is beautiful. So the changes that are occurring, it's happening in your life uh, because they've been divinely inspired and guided, you know. And these changes will bring about a long-awaited circumstance and result. And that's going to really align with, you know, your 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 divine purpose and, and passion and maybe even, you know, your soul mission, mission. So this is beautiful. Queen of Pentacles is I'm talking about that. So this is again is showing like, remember, we saw physical activity. So this is spirit's way of confirming that. Yeah, you you did that. You did the work. You know, the work is not easy. Hey, mamas. Oh, she's so sweet. So that Queen of Pentacles, that's you. Independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, grounded, domestic, family, home, hearth, your children. Like, you are good, beloved. That You turn that Three of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles to this Queen of Pentacles. Pre-Empress status yet again. Even if you're a feminine, a masculine energy. You know, pre-Empress status. So that's a beautiful energy. Of just, you know, showing the work, the drive, the discipline. That's a beautiful energy. Right now we have Dilla. Some of you all could be from D-Town, Detroit. This is called For the People featuring uh, Fife. And it says, All I Do. So all you did was you stay focused, you know, um, you stayed focused. Um, maybe this is confirming because it says something for the people, uh, rising power to Fife Dog as well from a tribe called Quest. But maybe this is something like you were very like, because Scorpios tend to be, very emotionally intelligent. When you ride with people, when you rock with a person, you rock. Like you, you go hard. And so you were doing everything for everyone else and putting yourself to the back burner every single time, putting yourself to the back burner. And maybe this time around, you learned to do for yourself, to prioritize you, to make you your number one priority. And for that, you received the blessings because you planted seeds in good faith. And whatever you do with good faith, you're going to receive a return on that investment and that's why I feel like things are definitely turning around in your favor blessings and wish fulfillment are coming true your prayers are being answered because spirit has been watching you on this journey so let's tap in why is nine completion here let me clarify this message for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpio spirit why is this nine here for my beloved Scorpios let me get a message and spirit just reminded me I need to cut the deck before I shuffle, so let's go ahead and do that. Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. 
All right, this card flipped over. That's a bonus message. So it's completion. So you wrapped up a cycle. I, I was feeling someone was having regrets or feeling some sort of remorse. And it's because they're going to turn around to discover that um, you were the one that got away. You know, so someone has heavy regrets uh, with something for the people. All I do, it's like they're realizing like you were very giving or you were very thoughtful or you were very uh, compassionate, caring, sensitive. You were very empathic even. Um, and they took it for granted, perhaps. Maybe they was given themselves to others. But this shows that like you are for the people, like you care about, you know, people's feelings. You are more caring, more um, grounding, perhaps even. So that's a bonus message. I feel someone has regrets. And maybe it's because, like I said, you, that, that cycle is wrapping up. Um, this is closing out a cycle and you're starting something new. You've learned whatever you needed to learn from this energy. Because the five of cups, you can see they, they focus in on these three cups. Because whatever they thought was going to lead to some sort of, you know victory for them or they were going to be satisfied they're realizing it was a waste of time and when they turn around they're going to realize these two cups is what they should have been focused on not these third party shenanigans and all of these rendezvous secret rendezvous um i'm getting a sense of someone that was in a relationship or in a partnership or in a domestic situation and they um definitely got distracted by um other individuals so what we have on the bottom of the deck that's nine of cups so that's why they're feeling the sadness because like i said you're probably prioritizing you you focused on you yourself and you and you see that heart he's covering the heart that's a very protective energy your heart is covered which means that you are not open to love at this time and this person is realizing that they may have shot themselves in the foot and because you, you know, you're loving yourself, you got self-love. So you're not putting up with somebody treating you like an option, going out on rendezvous, cheating with other people. Like you're not putting up with that. You've completed and wrapped up that cycle. So this is telling me that nine and this nine is your energy. Whatever was hidden in the dark, it has come out to light because whatever comes out in the wash, you know, whatever's in the wash comes out in the rent, so to speak. So this person now is realizing that you have evolved into someone who has self-love. You may not have shown that before. Or you had it but you didn't really show it before because as I said I feel like you kind of overcompensated maybe you prioritized others before yourself not now <laughs> not this time around you know especially with all I do you'll reflect you've done reflected on all you did for other people you reflected on all the times you showed up you reflected on all the phone calls you took when you had things to do and you realized that that was never reciprocated or it was taken for granted and it wasn't appreciated so now you're just holding all of the love that you have for yourself, for your family, and you're investing in whatever it is that brings you happiness and joy. And look at that big old smile on your face. You are, and, and, and look at their energy. So this is like, you know, night and day. So someone definitely was learning and you taught them. That's why that teacher um, teaching and learning card showed up. So what we have now, the three, what is that? The three or the two? Okay, that's the two of wands. So now this person, what did I say about someone that you're attracting to you having a decision to make? Looks like they've already made it <laughs> because this staff is behind them. So whatever they were dealing with before that had them feeling like they were stuck in a fork in the road and mentally conflicted and couldn't choose, oh, they've chose. And what they are choosing is to figure out a way to get to you. Maybe they're making up some plans. I was picking up, there was distance. This is a world, like a globe in their hand. So I do feel like there's distance, there's travel. You can see that there's water there. Uh, so there was, you know, some other delays or other things that delayed this connection. But they are very optimistic. This person is looking towards communicating. But they have fears surrounding whether or not you're going to be a little guarded. Because with this 14, that reduces to 5. And then the 2 of Wands is 7. So I'm seeing like they're thinking maybe you'll be resistant or you'll be guarded. Or you're going to be super protective of your energy, which you are. But this person definitely wants to communicate. This They know that's the next step and they're hoping that communicating or conversing with you or you know opening up the conversation could somehow um, restore the connection or maybe this person is you know hopeful that um, you know they can you know state their case or make an apology that they know is due so this is someone that definitely um, look at this we got Casa overall got me a plan so this person has a plan set in place so they have a plan on what they're gonna do to approach you uh, someone's name 
you know, they're looking at the overall situation or the overall picture. And I feel like they know, like, it's now or never almost. So why is this 14 moderation here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracted to them? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, Tower. I mentioned the Tower. So how they feel about you is they feel like, you know, there was a Tower moment. Things ended abruptly. Um, there was a demise of a relationship. A marriage was just dismantled. Um, maybe this led to divorce, separation, like I said. But there's definitely sudden changes that occurred. But Spirit is the one that struck this tower because there was lies, deceit, deception, things that were unknown by both parties that someone was just living a double life perhaps and what got me a plan they, they got a plan to how they're going to you know come towards you you can see the two of swords there's a lot of contemplation you know planning and decision they're trying to trust their intuition they could be stuck in two minds and it's because this is guilt you know they're riddled with guilt they're riddled with regret because that's what this bowed head would mean there's a lot of regret here uh, because now they're seeing you as a whole wish fulfillment a whole dime piece out this parts and so now now they're like, you know, indecisive, trying to make a decision, trying to choose. Um, and with this tower here, that's your energy. You know, every ending denotes a new beginning. But this also shows that something was destroyed, you know, and, and, and whatever was destroyed, they've watched you rebuild. And so they know they have something to do with what was destroyed. There goes the six of swords I mentioned earlier. You moved your ass away from this. After this was destroyed, you packed up, moved away and established a sanctuary in a safe space. You know, you may have moved around like minded individuals, may have found your tribe. Maybe you found your village but you moved away from all of this confusion all of the lies the trickery it just motivated and encouraged you to create a safe space and to get away from those murky waters so that's what I was picking up and that's exactly what came out thank you spirit so why is this 32 music here and Casa overall got me a plan is still playing you see how this card right here is flipped over so that's your message we got that message there. And there goes the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is definitely trying to come to you. But they're taking their time because they want to get it right. This is someone offering something solid, something real, something stable, something secure. But it is a knight. And you are in, you know, that energy of divine feminine, divine masculine. So this is something that, you know, it is something you can trust. But they are taking a long time um, because I feel, you know, there is regrets. There is, you know, perhaps even remorse. Um, they have remorse. They have a heavy head, heavy conscience. We got Nicole featuring Missy Elliott and Mocha, make it hot. So they don't want to like stir the pot. They don't want to get you angry. Um, they're fearing that. Maybe that's what it is. They're fearing that you're going to respond um, with with in a negative way or just abruptly or you may not give them the time of day with hot. Because when I think of hot, I think of heated. I think of something that's like, you know, Something that Mars energy, like arguments and, you know, disruption. And you're not even that. I, I don't think you're that. But they're trying to test the waters is what I'm getting. Yeah, because they want to communicate. You know, they feel like, you know, when you cut them off, maybe they feel like it was forever, ever, um, which it was. But I feel like if someone comes to you um, with an apology, I don't think that you're just going to turn them away. But I do feel like you will consider um, any offers that's being made, like you're not consider, but you will like, you know, be looking at them sideways if there is an offer being made because of what you had to endure and all the lessons you've already learned. And this will be like almost completing another um, another cycle like you'll be going through another karmic cycle with this person um someone's name could be missy or nicole um even Aaliyah, um because she's also in this video someone could be from va someone can be from um detroit as i said earlier yeah, but there's a conversation coming and I feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition because this could be involving someone that you've already cut off. Someone definitely wants to, you know, extend like an olive branch. I feel it could be a masculine. Someone could be also confessing they love you. I just saw one, 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 which is also four as I'm confirming or clarifying the four rather. So someone could be confirming or just confessing, I should say, um, that they love you. And what she says is, I got what you want. Got what you need Can I get another shot This time I'm gonna make it hot So this person is like looking at you like You know now they got what you want What you need so maybe they're, you know, approaching this like, you know, um, they've learned some lessons. You know, now they're in the right mind. Or man, maybe now their heart chakra is open because they're being motivated to move 
with love in their heart you know so with this um ace of swords i do feel like this is like again uh the truth and epiphanous moment that's what's hidden so you know you're trusting your intuition i feel someone also um is you know gonna trust their intuition to take action so why is this intuition here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpio this is landed on my hand so we have the the nine of wands, the ten of wands so this is a heavy burden so this could be burdensome, or maybe this is Spirit's way of saying, like, you've already relieved yourself of this burden, you know, and maybe picking up this again, because 1 in 22 is 5. This could be challenging. You know, maybe this is someone who, um, you know, is feeling burdened because of, you know, whatever regrets they may be carrying and maybe a conversation. It could lead to uh, perhaps, you know, just forgiveness. You know, maybe that's what they're hoping. But there's been a lot of burdens, but I feel because this is 10 and you can see that they've arrived back to the city. So they've been carrying this for a long time. And I feel like this could be your energy too. you know, just just speaking in, in terms of like what you've had to endure and how you've reached this level where, you know, you're more discerning or you're more um, you're more susceptible to trusting your own intuition moving forward, especially when it comes to love, especially when it comes to, you know, a divine feminine or masculine entering your life. Because you're not allowing anyone to come in and just um, push buttons, make you upset. You know, whoever angers you controls you. And that's something you learned a long time ago. And that's why you're prioritizing yourself. You're protecting your heart, protecting your peace. And that has brought a lot of happiness. That's brought a lot of joy in your life. So this, this ten of wands that someone is feeling, it's like you're, you're, the ten reduces to one. So now there's this new opportunity. And we have white rabbits. This is called 40 Nights. So that just automatically made me think of that biblical um, scripture where they were trapped. Um, I forgot where they were trapped for 40 days and 40 nights or something like that. But white rabbits don't, 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 you know, get, you know, how do they say, like, don't go down a rabbit hole with the situation? Because like I said, I just get a sense of like, you may be repeating a cycle. So feel, I feel spirit is just reemphasizing and stressing the importance of trusting your intuition because just remember the burdens, you know, whatever is hidden also. Um, this could be that person, you know, that person that you're attracting also who is feeling very burdened by, um, you know, just the truth. The truth can be, you know, it could be a tough pill to swallow, you know, but look at the sun, baby. Look at that sunshine. Sunshine, you brighten my life. Look at that. This is what they feel. Sunshine, you make me feel all right. Yeah. Sunshine, you turn my darkness to light. <laughs> I love it. And you brighten up the corners of my, 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 <laughs> Don't give me the sun. That's baby face right there. That's what I just heard. You know, whenever I hear it, I got to sing it because it's just so loud. But, um, yeah, you're like sunshine. You're like, you're that happily ever after, man. This is what they feel. They feel free. They feel invigorated. This is what you know, the outcome is, this is that energy, you know, just happiness, new beginnings, joy, this is hope, optimism, this is even you manifesting something that's going to bring so much peace and happiness in your life, maybe some of you all have been doing some sort of uh, rituals for 40 days and 40 nights, or you've been doing it for 40 nights, um, but I also feel with that white rabbit, like don't go down the rabbit hole with this person, because that could be also a test. So just be mindful. So why is this eight manifestation here for the outcome? Thank you, spirit. And then we have the ace of cups. And the emperor flew out. And I was expounding on the emperor earlier as well as the empress. So you will absolutely have success, victory. Because this emperor goes after what they want. And they achieve everything they desire. Because they're powerful. They're leaders. They're bosses. They know exactly what they want and how to execute. This also is saying that there's going to be a lot of psychic downloads. Um, you're going to receive a lot of downloads right now. So be very open and receptive to that. Um, there also could be offers of love. You know, this could be that husband that I was picking up, that wife, that ex that you was, you know, planted seeds and roots with, someone that you had that domestic partnership with. I'm also getting like someone could be just recently turned 40. So maybe they were born in 1984 um, is what I'm getting as well. But I'm absolutely seeing that this person 
is going to assert themselves if this is a person if it's not this is you having success like you're going to have some sort of business that's going to be very successful this is definitely speaking to financial security stability and whatever you're manifesting it is happening in real time you got the ace of cups you got the strength and you got the magician you're manifesting this and you are manifesting it because now you know your power and you're owning it so like i said you you know with that same um eight you know, that's over the same, uh, I mean, it's over the um, magician's head as well. So that just speaks to you uh, tapping into that alchemical force that I was speaking of earlier and co-creating with universe. So you've had to do that even in terms of facing your own fears, confronting your fears, and not trying to run away from your problems, but confronting them. So this is what you did. You turned any of those, you know, your subconscious thoughts, you've taken control of those things. So if there was like negative chatter, negative self-talk, if there were fears that you were like harboring, it's like you confronted everything and learned to brave your light. And that's why now there's open, you know, uh, wish fulfillments and blessings that are coming through for you. But spirit is offering you love. Spirit is offering you something that's going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction in your life. And that's a beautiful, beautiful confirmation there. I love to see it, Scorpios. Absolutely beautiful. But that sunshine, I'm telling you, that sun, that sh when that sun gets to shining, OMG, baby, that, that just shows like, yeah, you're in for, uh, you know, some good, good times ahead. And we did see the happy ending. So I just feel like, you know, all of my Scorpios that tune in, y'all, the ones that have been doing the work. The ones that have been taking the time to listen to these two-hour readings, you of a different breed, beloved. You're not that quick, you know, five-minute microwavable type of stuff. Like, you, you can sit down and you can listen to, you know, a reading, which means that you can take the time to do the work, to apply it. Uh, you know, no shade to anybody, but it's like, you know, that, that quick... You know, quick fix, that's not that's not your jam. Like, you're willing to put forth the work and effort. And if you can stand a two-hour reading, then that means that you are very dedicated to your own, you know, to your own work, to your own self-improvement. And that, that's a powerful thing. You know, that's powerful. Everybody don't have that type of attention span. And no diss to them. You, sometimes you got to build your way up to that. But for all of y'all in tuning in, tapping in, y'all know who you are. You've been doing that work. You've been doing it. You know, you can't tune into this channel and just, you know, be looking for quick fixes. Because I have none for you. All right. But on the bottom of the deck, look at that. Regal and Royal. We're going to clarify with a deck I created. And then we're going to wrap it up. So we got Regal and Royal. It says there is levels and you supersede them diamond in the rough. So that is the reason why someone is absolutely in awe, inspired. They see how you love loving yourself and you're teaching others how to treat you. But you're also, you've learned along the way that love is an inside job. And that's the reason why you parted ways, walked away. That is the reason why that cycle wrapped up with completion. We're about to clarify completion. And we have Nas singing bye baby. So that's what you did. You said bye. I, I, I don't have time for this. I, I, you know, I got other things to do, you know, and you just worked on yourself. So you're sitting here happy, cheesing while the other person is, you know, distraught and sad and heartbroken and, and, and you know, really struggling with disappointment and heartache. So you you are now that diamond in the rough. You're that, that empress, that emperor. You're the one that got away. You're all of the things that I mentioned. Someone very alluring and beautiful and attractive and wise. So why is this nine completion, nine of cups? And the um, five of cups here for the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. So here we go. We got hone your skills, gifts, talents. And it says practice makes perfect. And that's going to be on the bottom of the deck when we pull uh, how this person or what you're attracting to you feels about you. But the card that flew out was single black, um, single black slash white female. Wants your life, jealous, envious, um, sneaky, and hater. So someone was a hater. <laughs> um, you were dealing with someone that was an enemy. You know, um, sometimes you could sleep with the enemy. You don't realize just how much um, disdain and contempt someone has for you until you actually get away. So when you wrapped up that cycle, it, it's like that's when you were able to see, you know, the forest from the trees because this person may have had you wrapped up in a lot of illusions and delusionment. But this is someone that's actually very obsessed and someone that could be very jealous and envious of you. There was another card that flew out. Look at that. You got someone praying on your downfall. 
watch him. So that's probably what you were able to pick up. And that's why you're guarded now. Because you can sense that someone does not have good intentions for you. Because you're sitting here happy. And this every time you're happy, that makes this person angrier and angrier. Especially if you have a whole, you know, stalker on your hands. Or someone who is very... Um, much in competition. This is someone you left behind and it doesn't have to be love. Spirit is telling me this could also be like, you know, old friends, co-workers, people used to hang out with back in the days. This is what they feel because you, you are now entering into a new timeline, a new phase and stage of your life. And this is causing, you know, a lot of angst. You're starting to see people for who they are. When someone's praying on your downfall, that's someone that's wishing you bad. This is not someone that is congratulating you or congratulating your wins. And on the bottom of the deck, Spirit is telling you, hone your skills, gifts, and talents. This is who or what you're attracting to you. So with the Two of Swords, someone is being forced to work on themselves. That's what this is. The moderation is the change, the work that you have to do on the self. So you're not projecting onto other people your insecurities or your work that you need to do. So maybe they're tapping in because the 14.5 deals with the Hierophant, which is all about matching growth elevating so they could be focusing that energy of you know um anger jealousy envy on you and then just you know kind of internalizing it and focusing it more on themselves but with bye baby you already cut this person off and that's another reason why there could be a lot of um you know frustration and misdirected anger so why is this 14 moderation and two of swords here for who or what my beloved scorpios are attracting to them why is this 14 thank you spirit that card flew out bottom of the deck we have warrior spirit and <laughs> it says you defy the odds that's going to be on the bottom of the deck when we pull um how who or what you're attracting to you feel about you but what we have is jealousy is a sickness and it says hater alert stalker alert so i just literally said that this person is like overly obsessed with you you got an obsessed person you know and i was picking up the devil earlier as well because this right here is showing that this person is very jealous and spirit is forcing that could be the reason why um, I was getting like sacrificial position. Um, maybe this is how they were feeling for you in the past and what led up to the demise of the relationship. But this is someone that's really stuck in two minds, mentally conflicted. And I just get someone projecting, 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 but never self-reflecting, never, you know, doing their work internally. It's always everybody else's fault. They, they're the quick to point the finger, but never see the other four point, you know, well, when you point, it's like three pointing back at you when you do it like that right <laughs> i'm like let me see let me let me let me do it but yeah this is someone very jealous very envious and and jealousy is a sickness because it will lead people to do some really unthinkable things i mean you see it all the time on these crime shows you know people will do anything you got passion um crimes you got people who just jealous because you shining and you're doing your thing that's why i always encourage people keep your business to yourself do not share your personal deets with anybody if things are going good Keep it between your inner circle. Don't tell anybody. And also check your circle. Check your cipher to make sure everybody on the same page. Because as you're growing, make sure your folks is growing too. You can't be the only one growing in your cipher. Because everybody else, you know, they can start looking at you and projecting, again, those insecurities towards you. So it's always important to do your checks, you know, to, to ensure that you cut your grass, you know, so you can see them snakes slithering. But you got a lot of jealousy and envy. And you got folks wishing and praying on your downfall which is a very, very um, low vibrational negative energy. And it's because you are a damn warrior. You know, whatever they did to destroy you, it only made you stronger. Whatever they did to bury you, you only grew as a seed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and turned and blossomed into a flower. And we have, um, who is this? This is um, free mind. Yeah, so you're you're a free mind. So you freed, I'm hearing free dome. So this is someone that was used to mind ucking you, um, confusing you, gaslighting you, uh, double talking. This is somebody that was like a gift of gabber. Like, so I'm just seeing the devil all day long because that's all the devil does. They speak with a forked tongue. You was a warrior spirit. So they didn't know who they was dealing with when they bumped into you. Like I said, we bump into people all the time and we are meant to teach them lessons and they are meant to teach us lessons. 
lessons. And that's why when we opened up the reading, we had lesson learned because this person taught you valuable lessons and you obviously learned them because we have the completion card, which means that you're on to the, the next best thing, smoking. You're moving forward, upwards and onward. And it's because you are a warrior spirit, which means you've been ordained as such. And this is powerful. So why is this 32 music? So that's telling me this song yet again. It says real dope world. So someone sees that you're dope. You know, you're grounded, you're down to earth, you know, and you're also free spirited. But I also feel like you freed yourself. You're, you're, you're now, you know, you see the truth. You're illuminated. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Money, baby. Success. It says financial freedom and success. So their karma, because that's why justice showed up, is to watch you succeed, is to watch you happy, is to watch you self-sufficient, independent. You have success in everything you do. Everything you do turns to gold. And that's why someone now wants to dupe you with an offer. What is this offer when you are empress or emperor? You ain't got time for that. In fact, you got your own money. You don't need their little measly offer. On the bottom of the deck, when we pull what's hidden, it says they're cold-blooded. They have evil intentions. Watch them. This is crazy. And that's why intuition showed up. Because you already released yourself of the burden. And now they're kind of trying to come back to dupe you. Someone could be on drugs because I see dope. Someone could definitely be on drugs or maybe there's someone who is just a little like mentally conflicted. Maybe they was drinking, drugging, whatever it is. Because when I think of the devil, like I said, I just think of someone who has addictions and afflictions. But this card right here, they have no good intentions. So that's why spirit was, you know, forewarning you to trust your intuition. Because whoever this is, you're attracting to you bad intentions. And spirit then told you to watch them. So what we have right now playing is we have um this is mary uh mariah carey um featuring um uh who is that um crazy bone and wishbone from bone thugs and harmony and this is called breakdown so this person is trying to break down your defenses because you definitely got your wall up you know and you've definitely done your your big one when you you know rebuilt after they destroyed whatever you rebuilt and now they're trying to break down those walls they're trying to break down your walls because when they break down your defenses then you're easy access and spirit is telling you they're cold-blooded so they don't have good intentions they're evilly you know they're evilly um they have evil intentions evil motivations and you have already passed this test i was feeling like someone was trying to get you to you know repeat a cycle all over again because we saw 40 days and 40 nights and I was just feeling like someone was trying to you know take you down this rabbit hole and when you go down a rabbit hole it's hard to come out of it because now you're just on this this whole you know kind of labyrinth type of um cycle this maze and and you you can't get out so this is very powerful so with Mariah Carey someone could be from New York this is powerful. So why is this 22 intuition and the 10 of wands here for what's hidden in the energy? And then we're going to wrap it up. Well, after we get the outcome, of course. <laughs> why is 22 intuition, the 10 of wands here? You obviously relieved yourself of this burden, but I feel this person is trying to put their burdens on you. You know, that's that energy vampire-ish. All right, so this card is left in my hand as well. I see a butterfly here. The name of this album, in fact, was called Butterfly. And Butterfly is about transformation. So I do feel like this person is feeling a certain type of way because you've transformed and emerged someone new. We also have celibacy. Um, it says no self-pleasure, maintaining self-control. So some of you Scorpios, most of you all have been very celibate and abstinent uh, when it came to sex, which is how you've also been able to, you know, fortify your, your boundaries. Um, and it also is a reminder. So it says mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. So that's about self-reflection. So maybe someone is now starting to do some of that internal work uh, because they're starting to question like why am I feeling these ways and maybe that's what's allowing for those walls that they may have set up um, to you know kind of come down because of that that projection but I also feel like this could be you also doing your work um, you know to make sure that you are not presenting as a way uh, that's inviting this energy so you could be doing you know you could be continuing uh, your shadow work you know because as you can see there's still you know these burdens you've been carrying but I feel like you will be released them soon because that 10 reduces to one and then we have build an emotional um, connection over a physical one so that's another thing that I feel like you've learned as well um, because maybe you know and have learned that <clears throat> and my throat is getting blocked so whoever this is this is someone that definitely doesn't emote they don't communicate 
and there's just a lot of um misdirected anger but i'm also getting a sense with build an emotional connection over a physical one this is what they got caught up in perhaps with those third parties they were entangling it in um pardon me wrong card i'm showing you and my throat is still like <clears throat> blocked if you could hear it so this person doesn't know what to say because as i said they got re regrets and remorse for what they did maybe because i don't know if you're still holding on all of this funky energy you may not be um remorseful as i was in initially saying but with the i keep showing you the nine of cups this is the card i'm trying to show you so with this energy like they they sitting here looking at the three of cups and all the spilled um you know wine you know from all of the you know whining and dining all them outside folks but now they're realizing like they should have built a more solid connection a more emotional connection before just entangling with people sexually because now maybe they're struggling mentally conflicted and having some sort of demons they're facing with because when you deal with people who are just out there sexually um, you dealing with sex gins you dealing with Charlotte you like you dealing with an energy that uses sex as a weapon and whomever you lay with it's like you are laying with everyone they laid with so if you lay in with low vibrational energy you get stuck with that especially feminines because you know we are receivers um, masculines are givers so it's like whatever this energy is someone is stuck with some very heavy energy and they are breaking down maybe mentally they're having some sort of um, breakdown and it's says because i'm happy you can't steal my joy so that's where you're at you're not that's what the guarded energy is that's why you done took them six swords and you don't moved on to bigger and better you moving on to upwards and onwards you are not allowing anyone to steal your joy which is beautiful you can't steal my joy is a statement beloved and it says relax refresh recharge that's what you're doing so you are recharging your batteries and it says you are so worth it and they will prove it to you so you can be um definitely um attracting uh several people you got someone that could be really salty because maybe they're seeing you move on we have four MDs. love is a house maybe because you've been able to rebuild and you have a lot of stability and security in your home that could also be very um maddening to someone because they could have you know sworn that you was just going to be begging them back but with celibacy you're also holding that you're not just giving to everyone which means that you are even more spiritually powerful um than anyone may have anticipated so why is this eight manifestation and the emperor here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection someone could definitely be from staten island but they also realize you're a force to be reckoned with with force some d's they realize you're a force to be reckoned with they realize that you know you're not an easy win now and i see a card here i just want to show you so you don't think i'm just pulling random cards so this card right here is what's upright and then there was another one that just fell or two so you got two more messages three all together so this on the bottom of the deck it says frenemies they don't really rock with you like that so you got a lot of messages telling you how someone truly feels trust that because whoever this is this is someone that pretends to be you know happy for you but you know secretly they praying on your downfall secretly they doing some voodoo doo -doo 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 on you this is someone that definitely stalks your life watches you remember we had she maybe this could be someone they were dealing with that learned about you or learned how someone felt about you and now they're in some sort of vengeful, jealous, stalker energy. Because even if you think about that movie, movie single white female, um, she literally became obsessed with the woman. Try she she I think she killed the girl's boyfriend, um, killed the dog just so she can kind of be. She just wanted to be her person. Um, she wanted to be there, so she's like stalking this woman's life. She just wanted to become her. So if you got people around you that just want to become you, and you see them doing little things things that just is just like kind of scary like for instance let me give you a little small piece of this um i don't want to go too deep into my personal but um in my field of work i support individuals with like mental health illness so i'm like you know a clinical coordinator and one of the families that i support um one of the women that i support uh she kind of has these tendencies um i drive a volkswagen uh, she wasn't driving a Volkswagen. Now she's driving a Volkswagen. Everything I said I'm doing or everything I'm doing, it's like now she's doing. It's, it's just very strange, very odd. And I don't share much information. It's just like little tidbits, but it's like it's enough for her to motivate her to go do certain things. So I'm very like, I just keep it to myself and you know like if she sees me wearing jewelry now all of a sudden she wants to make jewelry or if she sees that I'm wearing crystals you know because I'm always like just wearing things to keep my energy just my auric field very protected um and so she 
too now is like, oh, I, I'm, look at this. Look what I, you know, so it's very strange. So just be mindful because you might also be dealing with that same type of energy and they're just smiling and beguiling in your face. And all the while they're trying to take your place. So be mindful of that. So the cards are actually flew out to clarify. So remember, frenemy, that's somebody that's an enemy pretending to be a friend. And then we have dream um, catcher. So you could be having some night tremors. Um, someone could be doing things during those witching hours. So be mindful. So you got some dark energy, y'all. Uh, but it's because your life is good. It's like they don't even understand or understand um, this journey that you've been on. This has not been an easy feat. Look at these cards that's on the bottom of the deck. While you're enjoying your life and you're growing and you're evolving and you're doing what you need to do to prioritize you, this is what you got around you. Evil eyes, watching you know, so make sure y'all do some sort of like um, spiritual baths, protect yourself. Like I said, do something to fortify your auric field, whether it be, you know, um, taking spiritual baths, whether it be making crystals, whether it be like scrubbing your name, uh, getting some salt, some sea salt and some water. And, you know, scribing your name, your full name, first, middle, and last, and then putting it in there and then just kind of speaking intentions of what you wish to break free from you, your name, any attachments from past life, former life, this life, um, any spells that anyone may have cast, anyone that has used your name um, with evil intentions or cause trying to cause misfortune just speak that into that salt water to to um clear your name and then after you do that do that for some time like really set that intention don't just rush through the process after you do that then take that same um energy and you speak what you want um, the salt water to do to bring you abundance, to you know cut you free from debts, from poverty, from misfortune. Anyone that's cast spells, it is purged and really like speak positive things to your name now, just to change that energy and do it for seven days. Um, you know because th there's definitely some evil eyes, some negative energy lingering. You could even speak of cords, like breaking those cord yokes and hex as well. But I digress. So now we have um, the eight manifestations that we're clarifying along with the emperor for the um, outcome and we have um, DMX rising power king and he is um, performing and uh, see that and, and DMX is uh, an acronym for dark man X so this is a dark energy that spirit really wants you to know and so it says flighty ins and out impulsive unreliable we also have he loves me he loves me not and then we have um, I always feel like somebody's watching me. So for some of you all, whoever this is, this is that person that was flighted. This is that person that was entertaining other people, could have abandoned, could have rejected, maybe unrequited love. But this is because they had other people um, in, you know, in play with with these evil eyes watching. Be mindful because you do have some folks that are keeping keeping tabs on you. Remember, we I showed you that she and those eyes were watching. So I do feel like you have a feminine energy that could be watching with jealousy and angst, especially with the saying single black, white, female. Um, Y'all could have like a stalker, a full on hater um, that is preoccupied with you. But you also could have someone um, from the past watching that gave mixed, fig mixed signals. Um, and when you think of like, you know, when I think of the like king of wands that's more of a wandering energy the king of i mean the emperor now is, is it, it could be more controlling their way or no way i want to get one more message because i don't want to leave all this heaviness i don't like heavy energy so let me get one more message to clarify the eight manifestation the emperor flighty um thank you all right, let me finish my shuffle. So those two cards, this is actually two, and I'm going to prop it down, and I'm going to finish my shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. And the bottom of the deck, backstabbing. Look at this. Y'all got some very heavy energy. Backstabbing, plotting, scheming, scamming. Look at that. It says high alert. And several of your cards were saying stalker alert, um, hater alert. So this is very, very, this is like, you know, this ain't to scare you, though. Because as you can see, y'all are still living your best life. Like you ain't, you know, you're not, um, you're not stopping either way. You know what you're doing. You're not, you're not stopping either way. But this is just to let you know, like, yo, you, you really got some folks here that can't stand you. So we got um, redemption song. So you're going to have um, redemption over your haters. It says the sweetest joy. And that's what they're hating because, you know, you hate what you can't understand and fear what you can't conquer. So that's what that is. That's projection. We also have she, he, she is the one that got away. Can't shake this feeling. 
So I was picking up that energy and then look what else you got that came out. Warrior spirit. So they can't shake you. They can't phase you. They're not phasing you. We also have thunder clapping. And it says prepare, take shelter. So someone is trying to come in and project, start an argument. Um, and this is someone that has you twisted. They got you ucked up. <laughs> um, downloads, transmissions, divine intervention. So spirit is definitely intervening. And maybe spirit is also giving you some downloads just so you know how to navigate the situation. Um, we also have, it's not what you think, further, investigated, need, further investigation needed. Uh, so if you were confused or conflicted by something, and my nose is itching like crazy. That's why I keep um, itching it. But it's like whatever you um, were thinking, it's not what you thought it was. And next we have manifest that shit. You got the power. So you're manifesting whatever it is you desire. And then we have make your next move, your best move. So spirit is telling you meditate, get it straight. Spirit is also telling you to contemplate your next move. But whatever it is that you're manifesting it. That's double confirmation that something you're you're manifesting, a wish fulfillment, a blessing, whatever is coming in. Um, this is what uh, you have jealous eyes watching you for. This is the reason why I should say these jealous eyes and these envious folks are watching. Uh, but they can't steal your joy, your power. When you're a warrior, you 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 up for the challenge. Like you you ain't backing down. You stand in your ground. Uh, next, you got what's next with you or what's new with you. So someone is definitely tuning in, tapping in to see what's new with you, especially with this card here. You know, I always feel like someone's watching me. Um, so if you do get that sensation or if your ear rings, whether it's the left ear, I believe the left ear means that you got people, you know, gossiping and talking ish. Um, that just sit with your energy that moment and just call your angels, you know, take a deep breath, call your angels to protect you, you know. You can do, um, you know, some sort of uh, ritual to protect yourself from all, you know, cardinal directions. You could call the angels from each direction to just provide that, you know, armor of protection around you. But just always, you know, whenever you feel that sensation or you feel some negativity or you your energy is like kind of jolted like whenever you feel that trust that because spirit is definitely letting you know who people are and at this point in the game i'm sure you all can feel energy and speak energy so when you walk in a room it's like you could probably see all the eyes watching and clocking every move and just know that you're feeling that for a reason and some of them eyes watching definitely are praying on your downfall and hoping that all the success that you're having in these new beginnings that you are now entering into somehow are you know interrupted but you worked for this. This ain't something that you just getting because you're cute. This is something you've earned. You've worked for it. You planted the seeds with that physical activity. It's confirming that you did the work. So this is destined for you, beloved. And because of that, they mad. They big mad, beloved, but can't stop the sun from shining. And I just send you infinite love and light. Thank you for tuning in and tapping in for as long as you did. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love and light, y'all.